Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Friday. Got some pretty good action on the board today. 15 matchups as we head into this weekend. It's going to be a fun weekend of betting. And yeah, you know, we're going to hop into it here. Uh, go and like and subscribe. Support the channel. You guys already know what to do. And yeah, we're going to hop into it. Uh, 15 matchups, starting with the Cleveland Indians versus the New York Yankees. Pitching for the Indians is Zach Plus. Pitching for the Yankees is Corey Kluber with an ERA of 4.02. He's 4-3. Four and three. The Yankees opening up as the favorites at minus 200. Cleveland plus 170 with the over-under at 10. The last start for Plasak. He's 0-1. Pitched six innings. Gave up two runs and had three strikeouts. For Kluber, he's 1-0. Pitched four innings. Gave up four runs and had six strikeouts. Yeah, you know, don't really like either pitcher here. Both pitchers have been giving up a lot of runs. Um, you know, Kluber hasn't looked that good on the mound in his last couple starts. He's been prone to give up some runs here. I do like the way the Yankees have been playing lately, but um, I think there's good value with the Cleveland. And um, I'm going to take Cleveland plus one and a half here. Next matchup, we have the Colorado Rockies versus the Washington Nationals. Pitching for the Rockies is Yerman Marquez with an ERA of 3.88. He's 12 and 10. Pitching for the Nationals is Josiah Gray with an ERA of 6.00. He's 0 and 2. Washington opening up as the favorite at minus 135. Colorado plus 110 with the over under at 8.5. The last start for Marquez, he's 1 and 0. Pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, and had six strikeouts. For Gray, he's 0 and 1. Pitched five innings, gave up five runs, and had four strikeouts. Yeah, Gray has not looked very good on the mound here. He's been giving up a lot of runs. And uh, Marquez has actually looked really good on the mound his last couple starts. And Colorado's been the better team in the last couple games here. I'm going to roll with the Rockies, plus one and a half. Next matchup, we have the Minnesota Twins versus the Toronto Blue Jays. Pitching for the Twins is Michael Pineda with an ERA of 3.87. He's 6-8. and eight. Pitching for the Blue Jays is Hyun Jin Ryu. With an ERA of 4.11, he's 13 and 8. Toronto opening up as the favorite at minus 200. Minnesota plus 185 with the over/under at 9. The last start for Pineda, he is 1 and 0. Pitched five innings, gave up one run and had three strikeouts. For Jin Ryu, he's 1 and 0. Pitched two innings, gave up seven runs and had four strikeouts. Yeah, you know Jin Ryu is probably coming off one of his worst games on the mound. Giving up seven runs. He doesn't normally do that. Uh, Minnesota has not looked good as a team here. I'm going to take Toronto in this matchup. Next matchup, we have the Baltimore Orioles versus the Boston Red Sox. Pitching for the Orioles is Keegan Aiken with an ERA of 6.83. He's 2-9. and nine. Pitching for the Red Sox is Chris Sale with an ERA of 2.52. He's 3-0. Boston opening up as the favorite at minus 400. Baltimore plus 285 with the over-under at 10. The last start for Aiken. He's 0-1. Pitched six innings. Gave up three runs and had three strikeouts. For Sale, he's 0-1. Pitched three innings. Gave up one run and had six strikeouts. Yeah, you know, Boston's getting a really big money value. Not money, money line value. Not va- not even a value. At minus 400. Very expensive, but... um. Chris Sale has been really good on the mound for the Red Sox. Keegan Aiken has been horrible on the mound for for Baltimore here. Uh, Hard to trust Baltimore, even with really big plus money potential. I'm going to roll with the Red Sox. All right, next matchup, we have the Detroit Tigers versus the Tampa Bay Rays. Pitching for Detroit is Casey Mize with an ERA of 3.66. He's 7-8. Pitching for the Rays is Luis Patino with an ERA of 4.62. He's 4 and 3. Tampa Bay opening up as the favorite at minus 250. Detroit plus 185 with the over under at 8. The last start for Mize. He's 0 and 1. Pitched two innings, gave up three runs, and had two strikeouts. And that was against Tampa Bay. And then Patino, uh, his last start was against Detroit. Uh, pitched. He's 0-1, pitched four innings, gave up two runs, and had three strikeouts. Um, I like Tampa Bay today. Um, 
you know, Patino has been actually pretty decent. Um, he's been pretty decent all season. Nothing crazy, but uh, I'm going to roll with Tampa Bay here. Um, hard to take Detroit a couple days in a row, but I don't hate Detroit. Big plus money, and they've been playing pretty well, but I'm going to stick with the Rays. Next matchup, we have the Los Angeles Dodgers versus the Cincinnati Reds. Pitching for the Dodgers is Walker Bueller with an ERA of 2.32. He's 14-3. and Pitching for the Reds is Luis Castillo with an ERA of 4.24. He's 7-15. and uh, The Dodgers opening up as the favorite at minus 165. Cincinnati plus 145 with the over-under at 8.5. The last start for Bueller, he's 1-0. Pitched 7 innings. Gave up two runs and had five strikeouts. For Castillo, he's 0-1. Pitched seven innings. Gave up four runs and had five strikeouts. Yeah, you know, Dodgers have been playing lights out here. Um, On a six-game winning streak, you know, Cincinnati just hasn't looked that good. Really haven't. Going to roll with the Dodgers, especially with Bueller on the mound here. Next matchup, we have the Philadelphia Phillies versus the New York Mets. Pitching for the Phillies is Zach Wheeler with an ERA of 2.86. He's 13-9. and Pitching for the Mets is Taiwan Walker with an ERA of 4.29. He's 7-9. and Phillies opening up as the favorite at minus 130. The Mets plus 120 with the over-under at 7.5. The last start for Wheeler, he's 1-0. Pitched six innings, gave up one run, and had eight strikeouts. For Walker, he's 0-1, pitched six innings, gave up five runs, and had eight strikeouts. Um, Yeah, you know, I like the Phillies in this matchup here. Um, You know, Zach Wheeler has been pretty solid on the mound. You know, Taiwan Walker, you know, has been giving up a lot of runs here. Five runs, six runs in his last two matchups here. I'm not sure how much I really like that. Um, Yeah, you know, I'm going to roll with the Phillies here. Next matchup, we have the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Miami Marlins. Pitching for the Pirates is Will Crow with an ERA of 5.97. He's 3-7. Pitching for the Marlins is Eliza Hernandez with an ERA of 3.89. He's 1-1. Miami opening up as the favorite at minus 150. Pittsburgh plus 130 with the over-under at 8. The last start for Crow, he's 1-0. Pitched four innings. Gave up three runs and had six strikeouts. For Hernandez, he's 1-0. Pitched four innings. Gave up three runs and had four strikeouts. Yeah. um, God, really don't like this matchup here, to be honest. Um, I'm not in love with either pitcher here. I think it was pretty decent plus money with the Pirates. Um, I mean, hard to trust either team here. Pirates actually have looked really good in their last five or six games here. I'm going to take the Pirates plus one and a half here. Next matchup, we have the Chicago White Sox versus the Texas Rangers. Pitching for the White Sox is Dylan Cease with an ERA of 4.22. He's 11 and 7. Pitching for the Rangers is Colby Allard with an ERA of 5.00. He's 3 and 12. The White Sox opening up as the favorite at minus 168. Texas plus 158 with the over under at 9. The last start for Cease, he's 0 and 1. Pitched two innings, gave up seven runs, and had five strikeouts. For Allard, he's 0-1. Pitched five innings, gave up three runs, and had four strikeouts. Yeah, you know, I don't don't love Allard on the mound here. He's been giving up a lot of runs for the Rangers. Um, I'm going to stick with the White Sox here. I do like Dylan Cease more than I do Allard. I um, feel like it could be an over kind of game here. Um, both pitchers been giving up. A good bit of runs here. I'm going to roll with the White Sox. All right, next matchup, we have the Arizona Diamondbacks versus the Houston Astros. Pitching for Arizona is Madison Bumgarner with an ERA of 4.66. He's 7-10. Couldn't find who's pitching for the Astros. Uh, Be sure to check that out when that does get released. Been seeing a lot of of, uh, pitching changes in the last few days. It's been kind of crazy how many have been happening. So uh, be sure to check that out. Houston opening up as the favorite at minus 215. Arizona plus 195 with the over-under at 9. The last start for Bumgarner. He's 0-1. Pitched six innings. Gave up five runs and had six strikeouts. 
Yeah, Bumgarner's given up a total of 15 runs in his last three starts. That's just insane. I don't know if I can trust that. Um, yeah, he's been giving up a lot of runs here. We'll see who pitches for the Astros, but uh, unless it's somebody crazy and has a horrible ERA, uh, we'll have to see. But for the most part, probably going to stick with the Astros in this matchup. Next matchup, we have the Chicago Cubs versus the Milwaukee Brewers. Pitching for the Cubs is Zach Davies with an ERA of 5.40. He's 6-11. Pitching for the Brewers is Adrian Hauser with an ERA of 3.25. He's 9-6. Milwaukee opening up as the favorite at minus 215. Um, the Cubs plus 195 with the over-under at 9. The last start for Davies, he's 0-1. Pitched two innings. Gave up five runs and had one strikeout for Hauser. He's 1-0. Pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, and had five strikeouts. Yeah, um, I like the Brewers here. I like Adrian Hauser on the mound. Zach Davies has not looked good on the mound, really. Giving up a lot of runs. Going to stick with the Brewers. Next matchup, we have the Seattle Mariners versus the Kansas City Royals. Pitching for the Mariners is Chris Flexen with an ERA of 3.73. He's 11-6. Pitching for the Royals is Brady Singer with an ERA of 4.85. He is 4-10. Seattle opening up as the favorite at minus 120. Kansas City plus 100 with the over-under at 9.5. The last start for Flexen, he is 0-1. Pitched five innings, gave up five runs, and had four strikeouts. For Singer, he's 0-1. Pitched four innings, gave up six runs, and had seven strikeouts. Um, yeah, both pitchers been giving up a lot of runs in their last few here. Not sure who to trust in this matchup. Um, not much value in it either. Um, I'm going to take the Royals plus one and a half. Next matchup, we have the San Diego Padres versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Pitching for the Padres is newly acquired Vince Velasquez with an ERA of 5.95. He's 3-6. and six. Pitching for the Cardinals is Miles Mikolos with an ERA of 5.47. He's 0-2. Uh, St. Louis opening up as the favorite at minus 140. San Diego plus 130 with the over-under at 9. Uh, yeah, you know, Velasquez did just get called up, and uh, he's going to be making his start. Um... um yeah, uh, you know, Velasquez's last start was July 30th. Uh, he's 0-1, pitched two innings, gave up five runs, and had one strikeout. He's given up 11 runs in his last two starts on the mound. Uh, Miles is 1-0, pitched five innings, gave up four runs, and had one strikeout. Yeah, you know, I really not in love with this matchup here, but hard to trust Velasquez on the mound. Hasn't played in a while. Gave up a lot of runs in his last few starts here. I feel like he's going to be rusty here. I'm going to take the Cardinals in this matchup. Next matchup, we have the Oakland Athletics versus the Los Angeles Angels. Pitching for the Angels, or pitching for Oakland is Cole Irvin with an ERA of 4.04. He's 9-13. and 13. Couldn't find who's pitching for the Angels here. Uh, be sure to check that out when that does get released. It is a nighttime game, so you know they're definitely milking it to uh, announce a starting picture, pitcher probably till later in the day. The Angels opening up as the favorite at minus 125. Oakland plus 100 with the over-under at 8. The last start for Irvin, he's 0-1. Pitched 7 innings, gave up 2 runs, and had 8 strikeouts. Um... Yeah, you know, the Angels coming off a nice win yesterday against the White Sox. Looked pretty good. We'll see who ends up pitching for the Angels here. But not enough value in it for me to take the Angels. We're going to take Oakland plus one and a half here. And then the last matchup, we have the Atlanta Braves versus the San Francisco Giants. Pitching for the Braves is Ian Anderson with an ERA at 3.61. He's 7-5. Pitching for the Giants is Logan Webb with an ERA of 2.80. He is 10 and 3. Giants opening up as the favorite at minus 142. Atlanta plus 132 with the over under at 7.5. The last start for Anderson. He is 1 and 0. Pitched five innings, gave up two runs, and had nine strikeouts. For Webb, he is 1 and 0. Pitched six innings, gave up four runs, and had five strikeouts. Um. Yeah, you know, rolling with the Giants here. Um, I like Logan Webb on the mound. He's been really great for them this season. 
Um, and yeah, I'm going to stick with the Giants here. And that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Friday. And I'll see you guys Saturday. Have a good one.